In the last video, I showed you the clumsy way of adding handles to the level control effect. Now I'm going to show you the fun way. Before I start, I'm going to drag over an audio clip and place it just above the level control clip. We'll need this later. Right click on the clip and select Edit Envelope. This is the envelope editor. Here you can see the handles we programmed in the last video, but now they're in a bigger area with the time scale and a percentage scale. You can resize the window to whatever size you like. This section here shows all of the fixtures and envelopes, or channels, that the level control clip is controlling. Check this box to show or hide an envelope. This is very useful when you have a lot of envelopes in the level control. You may have noticed that I've been using the terms envelope and channel interchangeably. This is because the envelopes in a level control directly control fixture channels. Later on, we'll see how envelopes can control other things besides fixture channels. For now, assume that whenever I say envelope, I'm referring to a fixture channel. To make changes to the handles for this envelope, you first need to select it in the Show Envelopes box. Notice the difference between selecting an envelope by clicking on its name and checking this box, which makes the envelope appear and disappear. Selecting the envelope brings it to the front so we can edit it. Now it gets pretty easy. To move handles, just click and drag. To add a handle, just double click where you want it. Down here, you can see the curve type of selected points. To select multiple points, click and drag the selector box. To delete selected points, press the delete key on your keyboard. This button will reverse the last action. The envelope editor has its own play, rewind, and slew buttons. It also has its own time cursor and time display. Click rewind and hit play and you can see how the envelope controls the fixture channel during playback. Up here is a list of all the tracks in the timeline, and you can check each one you want to see and play back from the envelope editor. If you have an audio clip in the audio track, check this box and you can see the waveform of the clip behind the envelope. This makes it easy to synchronize lighting control to audio. These buttons let you zoom the time scale in and out. Another way to zoom is to move the mouse pointer to the center of where you want to zoom, then spin the scroll wheel on your mouse while holding down the shift key on the keyboard. By the way, this method also works in the timeline editor. I probably forgot to mention that earlier. The rest of these top buttons have other functions that you can learn about in the help documentation. Again, just press F1 on your keyboard. These bottom buttons are for more advanced editing of recorded envelopes. This topic will not be covered in the Getting Started videos, but will be included in other more advanced videos. When you're done editing, click OK, and all of your changes will be saved to the level control clip on the timeline. Click Cancel to abandon all the changes you've made. I'll click OK to save my changes. In the next video, you will learn other ways the envelope editor can be used.